pave the way for treatments for a number of crippling diseases. In tonight's Boston Next, I spoke with a local Nobel Prize winner about the power genetics has to change the course of the future of medicine. Every day, I'm really happy. More signs of hope. Maybe I can go back to a normal life. Less than a year after the coronavirus changed the way we live, people are now being immunized with proven vaccines that experts say will turn the tide on the pandemic. It's like the beginning of a freedom for, for her. Unlike older vaccines like polio that use part of the actual virus, these vaccines inject a manufactured genetic material called messenger RNA that brings information to your body to help fight off coronavirus. Can't do anything by itself, but it can educate your immune system. Dr. Craig Mello knows all about the power of RNA. The UMass Memorial researcher won a Nobel Prize for discovering a different way of using this genetic material to trick the body. In our case, we're making an interfering RNA, gets into the cell, finds the target RNA, mRNA, and turns it off. According to Mello, both messenger RNA and his interfering RNA, what he calls two sides of the same coin, are game changers. There's a tremendous potential for developing therapies that really change the course of disease. Ever wonder why some people can eat sausage and bacon every day and still live a long and healthy life? One of the genes that was found in people like that is a mutation. Scientists are studying the idea of using silencing RNA to create that change, to lower the artery-clogging cholesterol in the blood, potentially eliminating the need for millions of Americans to take statin drugs. But Mello also has his sights on diseases with no cure. What are you most excited about to watch for? I, I really want to make a difference in diseases like you mentioned like ALS and Alzheimer's. Dr. Mello believes the answers are out there but he's worried about stumbling blocks on the other end of the microscope. We need young people who have that sort of pioneering and, and, and entrepreneurial you know curiosity to go and look and help us make this exploration yeah. happen. And David, he said even this technology could change the way you just recover from surgery wow. or an illness. It's going to be this cellular targeted therapeutics. So much potential. And to hear that things like ALS and Alzheimer's are yeah. things that could be sort of cured in the future is just uh, we'll all be paying attention to it. Enormous hope. Yeah.